Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and in this video I will be explaining addition and subtraction of fractions. So before I start with the questions, I just want to explain what the lowest common denominator is. It is also known as the LCD. So it's simply the lowest common multiple of the denominators of a set of fractions. So for example, you're given a question like 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5. The first thing you have to do is find the LCD. So this is how you're going to approach this question. So you're going to write the multiples of the two bottom numbers being 4 and 5. So I have 4 and 5 right here. So the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. And the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. So you're just finding the lowest common multiple. So which number appears in both sides and it's the lowest? From what we see, it's 20. We have 20 here and we have 20 there. So the LCD for these numbers is 20. So let's use this to solve the questions that follow. So addition and subtraction of fractions is very similar. To add or subtract fractions, the denominators or the bottom numbers must be the same. If the denominators are the same, like this question right here, all you have to do is just add the numerators. And for the sake of this video, I will be referring to the numerators as the top numbers. So all we have to do for a question like this is just add 1 and 3. That's it, because the bottom numbers are the same. So let's solve this question. So the question reads 1 over 7 plus 3 over 7. So it's simply going to be 1 plus 3 over 7. And your answer becomes 4 over 7. That's it. Because the denominators are the same. So let's do a few questions to see if we actually understand this. So for the first question, we have 5 whole number 4 over 7 plus 3 whole number 5 over 7. And we're asked to express that answer as a mixed fraction. So I'm just going to highlight this so we don't forget. Okay, so when I get a question like this and it's a mixed fractions, to avoid confusing myself, I just change all the mixed fractions into improper fractions. If you have a problem doing that, I have a video up so you could go check it out. I'm going to start with the first one being 5 whole 4 over 7. I'm going to change that into an improper fraction. So it's going to be 5 whole 4 over 7. Remember that we multiply and then we add. So this is going to be 7 times 5, which is 35. Then you add the 35 to the 4, and that becomes 39. And this is all you need to be the top number. And the denominator, or the bottom number, becomes this 7 right here. Now we're going to change the second mixed fraction into improper. So that becomes 3 whole number, 5 over 7. As usual, we multiply and we add. So that becomes 7 times 3, which is 21. You add the 21 to the 5, which becomes 26. This is all you need. 
So your final answer is 26 over the bottom number right here, which is 7 again. Now we're going to solve the question. So the question now is 39 over 7 plus 26 over 7. As you realize, the bottom numbers are the same. So we're just going to add the top numbers. So 39 plus 26 all over 7. We get 65 over 7. So even though this could be our answer, we were asked to express our answer as A mixed fractions. So that's what we're going to do right now. Let me put a line here. And let's do this. So 7 goes out and then 65 stays inside. 7 goes into 65 9 times to give us 63. You have a remainder of 2. So for your answer, it's going to be 9 whole 2 over 7. This is because this 9 here is the whole number. 2 is the remainder and then the 7 is the bottom number. So it's going in this direction. So 9 whole 2 over 7. And as you can see, we got the answer. It is right here as A. So our answer here is A. Let's move to the second question. So for the second question, we have 9 whole 2 out of 5 minus 4 whole 3 out of 5. And once again, we've been asked to express it as a mixed fraction. So I'll highlight it so we don't forget it. And let's start. So like we did for the previous one, we're going to change all the mixed fractions into improper fractions just so it's easier. So we have 9 whole 2 over 5. We multiply and then we add. And that becomes 9 times 5, which is 45. Then we add the 45 to the 2, and it's 47. That's all we need. So the improper fraction then becomes 47 over the bottom number, and the bottom number is 5. We're going to change the second one also into an improper fraction. So that's going to be 4 whole number 3 over 5. We will multiply and add. So it becomes. 4 times 5, which is 20, and the 20 plus 3, which is 23. That's all we need to put at the top, and it's going to be over the bottom number, which is 5. So now we're going to put the improper fractions back into the question. The question is going to read... 47 over 5 minus 23 over 5. As we can see, the bottom numbers are the same, so we just work with the top numbers and the bottom number will remain the same. So the answer now is 47 minus 23 over 5. This becomes 24 over 5. Even though this can be an, an answer, we were asked to express our answer as a mixed fraction. So we're going to do just that. So 5 goes out and then 24 goes into the box. If you remember, the top goes into the box. 5 goes here 4 times to give you 20. You have a remainder of 4. So your final answer is 
four whole number, four over five. Remember that this four is the whole number, this four is the remainder, and this five is the bottom number. And we're going in this direction. So it's four whole number, four over five, which is this five, the bottom number. And our answer is D. When the denominators are different, this is where you're most likely to use the LCD. So once you find the LCD, you change the fractions to equivalent fractions. You're changing them to have the same denominator so it's easier to work with. So let's do this example. It says 5 over 6 minus 3 out of 4. We're trying to find the LCD of 6 and 4. So 6 and 4. That will be 6, 12, 18, 24. And then for 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So we're looking for the LCD is the lowest common denominator. And one number appears on both sides, and it's the lowest, as we can see, is 12 here and there's 12 here. So our LCD that we're going to be using is 12, because we can see it's on both sides. So we're going to go straight to solve the question. It becomes over 12. So 6 here. How many times does 6 go into the LCD of 12? 6 goes into 12 twice. So we're going to multiply this 5 by 2. So times 2 is here simply because 6 goes into 12 twice. So 5 times 2 is 10. 4 goes into 12 three times. So we're going to multiply 3 times 3, which becomes 9, which is going to be 1 over 12. And that's your answer. So for this example, it says, what is the sum of 2 out of 5 plus 3 out of 9? We realize that the denominators are not the same, so the first thing we think to do is to find the LCD. So the bottom numbers are 5 and 9. So the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 45, 50, and for 9, it's 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. Okay, we, we got to 45, but then as we can see, there's 45 here, and then there's 45 here as well. The LCD is now 45, so we're going to put 45 right here. 5 goes into 45 9 times, so the 2 on top of that 5 is going to be times 9, and then 9 goes into 45 5 times. So that 3 on top is going to be 3 times 5. So from here, it becomes 2 times 9, 2 times 9, 
which is 18 plus 3 times 5, which is 15. So 18 plus 15 becomes 33 out of 45. So as you can see, our answer is right here. So our answer for this question is going to be B. So the first thing we do is to find the LCD. The bottom numbers, as we can see, is 11 and 12. So for the multiples of 11, we have 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 110, 121, and 132. And for 12, the multiples are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, 108, 120, 132. As we can see for all these numbers, the only numbers that appear in both sides is 132 here and 132. So the LCD for 11 and 12 the lowest common multiple is 132. So I'm going to write that here. 1, 3, 2. 11 goes into 132 12 times. So the 5 on the top is multiplied by 12. And 12 here goes into 132 11 times. So the 5 is multiplied by 11. So 5 times 12 here is 60 minus 5 times 11, which is 55. So once you get here, you know it's just going to be subtraction. So it's 60 minus 55, which is 5 over 1, 3, 2. And as we can see, our answer 5 over 132 is right here. So the final answer is B. So as usual, I want you to try this. The first one is 7 whole 1 over 8 minus 5 out of 8. And your answer is supposed to be 6 whole 1 over 2. The second one is 3 out of 4 plus 7 out of 16, and your answer is 1 whole 3 over 16. Try this yourself and let me know how you do. My next video is going to be on ratio and proportions.